Hey everybody, what's up? Fred McKinnon here with Ecom Catalyst. Today I want to talk about something that's very important that changed on how Amazon is doing some of the way they're doing their accounting that's really sent sellers into a tailspin. If you are an Amazon seller and something hadn't been adding up and the numbers that you're seeing on your payouts and your payout reports and your disbursement reports don't match the numbers that you're seeing in Seller Central in your business reports and you're asking yourself the question, where's my money? What, what in the world's happening here? then I got the answer for you, okay? So uh, again, my name is Fred McKinnon. I'm the owner and the founder of Ecom Catalyst. We're a full service Amazon e-commerce agency and consultant company. And I've also been a seller for more than 20 years. And one thing that I preach over and over and over again is in the words of Marcus Lemonis, old uh, you know TV show, The Profit, if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, all right? So sellers who are paying attention to their numbers have been really noticing some huge, huge discrepancies between some of the accounting that they're getting back from Amazon and in regard to statements and then the actual top line numbers that they're seeing reported in Seller Central. If you'll hang on with me here to the end of this video, I'm going to try to make this easy to understand and quick. Who really likes getting into the nerdy things about the math and the accounting, but this is very, very important, okay? And as an agency owner, I've lost count how many of our clients have already reached out to us going, this doesn't make sense. Like when I look at my business report, it says that I did X amount in sales, but then when I reconcile it against my disbursements, there's a lot of money missing. Some clients are actually pulling the reconciliation reports from Amazon and matching that up, and, and it's just not making sense, okay? So let's talk about what's going on here. It's called the Deferred Payment Policy with Amazon, and they've always had some type of deferred payment based on delivery date, but they've changed the way that's being reflected as of November the 1st, and they have a new policy called DD plus seven, delivery date plus seven days. So basically they're waiting for your product to be delivered and then adding seven days more to that before that money actually gets put into your account. So where you're seeing huge discrepancies many times is like, let's say you're logging in here to your sales dashboard and you're like, look in here and you said, okay, this says month to date in November, I've done $56,683. But that's not jiving at all with the numbers that I'm seeing in my account. And it's not jiving with the disbursements that I'm seeing. So now there's always been for many accounts an account reserve, all right? And so some of this has to do with the way Amazon is treating the old historical account reserve where they held a certain amount of money back out of every disbursement. So they had money there for potential refunds and chargebacks and things like that. All right, so now they're changing it. And just to kind of give you an overview of what it says, and we'll show you here on the screen from the official documentation and announcement from Amazon. As part of our payments based on delivery date policy, we typically reserve your sales proceeds until seven days after an order is received or delivered. To provide with more visibility in these funds we've reserved, we've added a new quote, deferred transaction status within the payments dashboard. Now here's where it gets tricky. By November 1, your delivery date reserve amounts will display as deferred transactions in the total balance box at the top of your payments dashboard. Until then, they may still display under account level reserves. So you're used to going, like I showed you on the screen, you're used to kind of going over and, and seeing something like this. And then you go over to your payments area and you look at your payments and you see something different. All right. I want to show you an example of how to find this quote missing money based on the sales that you have versus the actual amount of money that you received in the disbursement. Now there's a new location for you to go in Seller Central. And that location is simply to go to Seller Central and then go to Payments. And then under the Payments menu, there's one called a repository, a Payment Reports Repository. In there, you want to run what's called a Deferred Payments Report. On the Deferred Payments Report, it's going to show you all of the orders that have come in, that have processed, that you show as cleared and shipped, all right? That revenue is actually showing up on the top line. So the revenue is showing up way up here in that ordered product sales area, okay? But it's not showing up yet in your payment, okay? Because that has been deferred. To find that missing money, go to Payments, Reports Repository, and run a report on deferred transactions. That is going to give you visibility into what that looks like. Let's take a look at a sample report. Okay, so I have a sample deferred payments report pulled up here, and I've blacked out some of the confidential things like the settlement.
fulfillment ID. But you see a lot of orders here and all of the information. All of this is revenue that's showing up on the top line and it's shipped orders. It's orders that the inventory is gone, you know, everything's out, but you're not seeing the money yet on your disbursements. And if you scroll over, when I do that over here, you can see that it actually winds up being quite a bit of money. And this is just on one disbursement deferred transactions. And I've summed it all up at the bottom. We keep going. So on this particular report, there's $8,711 of quote missing money that is in the report. Okay. So hopefully that helps you find and reconcile it. It's just a little bit different than what they were doing in the past. If you have any questions about it, just go onto your Amazon Seller Central account and in the help area, search deferred transactions and it will help you figure out what What's going on the money's there they're not taking it away from you it's just being accounted for differently and it's being posted now on dd plus seven delivery date plus seven days so it's taken quite a while to get your money after that order ships kind of like what the reserve was before i hope this helps hey if you were stumped you know you're like man this helps so much please leave a comment let me know that i helped okay it encourages me to keep making content and the other thing that really encourages me is when you subscribe to the channel so if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel it's like i don't know it's like 70 80 percent of the people who are watching these videos aren't subscribed and i'm always asking what's up with that come on folks subscribe to the channel join hit that notification bell icon so that you can get notified when we release new videos i try to put out stuff that's really going to be valuable and help you now one thing i want to mention is the importance of tracking all of your sales your profit and analysis my favorite tool for that is seller board i just want to play Plug seller board real quickly and I have a link our partner link with a special offer in the product description okay seller board is my analytics tool of choice it tracks every penny that has to do with your Amazon seller account okay it tracks all of your sales every fee every refund every transaction the money that you spend to send an inventory into Amazon all of your PPC everything and if you upload accurate cost of goods sold for all of your products that you will have a a amazing overview outlook of your profit and loss all the way down to the product level and it's extremely extremely cost effective most people are paying less than 25 to 30 dollars a month for the software it's called seller board a link with a special offer is in the show notes here on this video click on that check it out do the free trial see what i'm talking about in addition to that they're giving you product alerts listing alerts if things you know get changed on your listing they notify you that fbi replenishments it's really an amazing tool it's one of the most important tools in my dashboard and the dashboard of our clients so check that out because when you're trying to do all of your analysis of your finances on your Amazon seller account knowing your numbers is critical absolutely critical and Silverboard will help you do that so hey check it out if there's anything else you need we're happy to help we offer full service management to brands we can take your account that you already have scale it up clean it up make it better grow your sales for you. Perhaps you're considering launching your brand on Amazon, reach out to us. Or maybe you don't need full management, but you just need some one-on-one -on -one coaching and help. Then you can book a consultation at ecomcatalyst.com. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon.